I was going to do a little show, tell, show and tell on the four-wheel drive system on this 1989 Volkswagen LT40 4x4. And mostly because there's so few around, I just kind of want to know how it compares to yours if you guys got one. And I know there were some folks interested in what they look like because they have regular LTs and thinking about converting. So uh, I was tracing down a diesel leak so I was going to jack it up and I just thought I'd put it up on the ramps anyway. And this certainly is kind of max articulation as I can uh, this tire barely off the ground and I can rock it. My driveway does lean just a little bit on the passenger side so it's fairly well balanced. I never did measure how high up those are. I guess that doesn't really matter. But you can certainly see how close this gets in here. On the other side actually looks like it wants to touch or in the rear, I guess. I got full of crap. I just recently bought it. I'm going to build it out as a camper. I got some scrap. Yeah, I'm going to grind that away a little bit. I already had to, as I was testing it yesterday, on the other side, I had to bolt back down that part. It was catching it right there. That looks like it needs a needs a modification. So that's originally what came on it. The 16-inch wheels, they're like the split wheels, which apparently are a bit hazardous. Those are 235-85R16s. But at some point in its life, I'm assuming after the factory, this thing got lifted. And I'll show you that. And I think it was lifted four inches. It might have been three. And then these Mefro wheels. Uh, and then just recently, these tires, BF Goodrich. Baja Champion, all terrain TA, KO2. And these are 285-75R16s. And they're full of air, uh, you know, full pressure. Or else I probably would get a few more inches of articulation out of this. All right, I'm going to climb up under it and show you what I see. And you guys tell me if it looks like yours and what you think. So that's the lift. Again, I didn't measure it, but yeah, that's at least four inches, I think. Um, I think these are supposed to be hearth axles and I don't know it does have a locker front and rear but not central it does have four high and four low and two high and obviously drums in the back uh, I was surprised this was the first time I saw there's like a helper spring here and I don't know if that's stock or added later it's freaking beefy <laughs> there's the shackles back here added beefiness there and yeah, generally two springs go the whole way. That third one and that fourth one. Uh, this is the tire carrier. Small fuel tank. What else to show you guys here? Climb, climb around under the center. thinking I'm going to upgrade these shocks oh and these bumpers are so nasty they're like dry rotted they're ancient oh, those might want to get replaced big old beefy sway bar there and obviously you know not detachable whatever they call those quick dis disconnect or detachable I would love anybody see anything wrong or odd or out of question please let me know so i assume that's the locker mechanism right there this is a new process apparently i forgot to say that these vehicles are only sold in europe there's only about 1200 of them made of the four wheel drive models from uh i don't know late 80s up to 92 i think and uh yeah, apparently some of this drivetrain parts were in 
US made Chevys and Jeeps. You guys tell me, I don't know. We had a crack, this bash plate actually had been broken. I guess it was over on the other side. It was rattling like crazy. I think it was broken right there. That looks like a clean, not fresh weld, so actually I'm not sure. I don't even know the name of that thing. And then we can see how it's lifted back here. So there's the shackles. That definitely looks like that was done after the factory, right? Added on. Still beefy. Only two springs up front. That I see. That bumper's been replaced. I think. And obviously there's a lifter. I don't even know what that. Oh, yeah, I can see it from the other side. And that looks lifted right there, right? And I don't know how much of that is stock or was changed after the fact. Oh yeah, it's got that small, nice replacement bumper up front too. I need to source some of those for the back. Again, I have a feeling these shocks could be replaced. They look like they're 30 years old. Right, that looks lifted there. Climb underneath. What's cool about this van is you literally sit up under it in sections. So the sway bar, right? Again, it's pretty fat. At least, yeah, I'm not a four wheel driver. I'm just comparing them to regular cars. You can see how it's connected up there, up there. And so this, in my opinion, looked like it was done after the fact after factory or that was done in the factory but certainly some lift happening there and this looks just straight out of like just grab some some raw parts and throw it together so i'm curious if everybody's got i don't even know what these are called are those trailing arms i don't, I don't know what, what they do i just don't know what they're called And the one thing, question I had, so there is some play in the steering system. So look, oh, see, is that normal? Sure wouldn't be able to do that easily. And then this, oh yeah, conversation, this thing has what I refer to as a death wobble. So this steering damper, dampener was put on um, and definitely fixed it. It was happening, uh, from 40 to 50 kilometers an hour or 40 to 60 and it would be like crazy at times uh, did not feel safe at all so now it doesn't have that but once you get up to like 70 kilometers per hour there is this entire van vibration that starts to happen it's subtle but um, I want to I want to know what it is so my friend was asking me am I interested in actually lowering it back down some um because i got plenty of well i guess that's arguable plenty of um clearance you know with a little bit of body modification i could drop an inch or two i would guess that is a hearth mile 203 r58 maybe i have no idea what the gearing is it's geared low though i can tell you that um because it's, it's hard to get it up to 60 miles an hour. It is underpowered. It's got straight six turbo diesel that's supposedly put out around 100 horsepower. But yeah, it, it's a zero to 60 eventually thing. Well, I think that about wraps it up.